Hi everyone, it's me, Raikon Tawi, and welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, then feel free to get subscribed para you'll see more of my future videos. And kung lagi naman kayo nandito, then welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about acne kasi alam kong hindi lang naman ako nakakaranas ng acne. And I know some of you have been experiencing acne for the longest time and I want to be of help. And of course, you guys, at the end of this video, I, I just want us to help each other fight acne or prevent acne. So, ano ba yung acne? Acne is a skin condition when your hair follicles are plugged with oil and dead skin cells. And then, of course, kapag napapasukan po siya ng bacteria, then mas lumalala. And there are different causes of acne. Meron, of course, your hormonal changes, which is actually like the number one cause. Your hormonal changes when your androgen, or there's an excess activity of androgen. Androgen is a, is a male hormone. And of course, the clogged pores and then the bacteria and there are also external or not external like extra factors kung bakit tayo nagkakaroon ng acne and that's because of your genetics or your family history in my case my mom has acne prone skin and so nakuha namin yon and even my brothers and my sister badly ang badly hit ng acne yung kapatid ko lalaki at kay babae and i thought i thought i i survived that stage but as soon as I hit my 20s, when I started working, everything just erupted like, like, like a volcano. So yung photo, hindi ko pinotoshop yun. Uh, totoong nangyari yun. Legit. And um, uh, nangyari yun February of 2014 when I was still working in an office. And I remember it so clearly when it happened. It, it happened like that. So parang parang overnight lang siya. Na, I don't know. Um, yeah, kind of overnight. But it, it started building up, I think. Or like... Day one, and then day two, when I woke up, it just suddenly appeared everything. Actually, that picture, um, apart from para lang makita kung gaano kalalay ba ko nun, that picture was actually taken for me to send to my TL because I thought they were measles or like that. So just for me to like, you know, just dapat kasi papasok ako sa office noon and then sabi ko, I think meron akong tigdas, I think I have to go to the hospital. And so I went to the hospital and I went to the emergency room asking for asking for help and assistance because I said, I think I have measles. They had me checked and they said, nila, oh, wala ka naman fever, blah, 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 blah. So, sabi nila, why don't you visit a dermatologist just to be sure. So, pumunta ako sa dermatologist and I had it checked, same day, and sabi ni dermatologist, hmm, it could be pimples kasi may, may pus, hindi may nana. So, ko, bakit biglang dami? Kasi overnight lang yun. Parang, parang, Iba naman yun, alam yun, hindi siya sumakit. Parang overnight lang talaga, lahat sila nag, naglabasan, pati sa chest ko, pati sa bandang legs, nagkaroon talaga. And sabi niya, it was like, um, kind of a, like, over dehydrated. It's like my skin that was very, very, very dry. And I also traced, like, days before it happened. Natandaan ko na, I'm a, I was, I was a soda addict. Talagang coke ako or soda or anything. Every single day. I remember, I think, for that week, bago siya umatake na gusto, for a day, iinom ako ng water, siguro mga kalahating baso lang. For the whole day. And then the rest ng liquids na in ko, juice, coffee, soda, alcohol, not water. So, sabi ko nga talaga, malamang sa malamang, madidehydrate ako. And since then, I I really, really, really try drinking more water. So yeah, so yun yung story ng acne ko noon. Um, and just wanna let you know that I also experienced severe acne, probably um, like some of you are experiencing. And so don't lose hope and I don't want you to feel so down and, and have this very low self-esteem just because of your acne. It will eventually go away and that's what we're going to talk about now. So again, other considerations, genetics. Your stress, sure, that would be a stress and everything because your hormones are acting up and your internal system is also acting up very poorly. And your diet, of course. So diet, naman ang experience ko when um, when I started having this delivery meals, yung uh, like delicious diet. So a delicious diet, kasi wala siya masyadong fried food. I think I don't know if if, uh, if some meal deliveries there is no fried food, but in my experience, wala kasi ganong fried food doon sa sa meal sa yun. So nabawasan yung oil and nakatulong siya. Nakita ko yung balat ko na sobrang umokay siya. Kung baga mas clear siya kaysa nung malakas ako kumain ng fried food like fried chicken, fast food, and, and all that stuff. And um, and of course, diet niya. 
drink lots of water and keep your keep your body hydrated. And then your lifestyle, of course. Kung like ka bang puyat, kung you work mo um, sa gabi, you're not getting enough sleep. Um, so that's very important as well. And of course, um, wait, another thing is, are you having enough exercise, which I'm guilty of? I do not have. Hindi ako ganun nag exercise And I think exercise helps because kung maganda yung blood circulation nyo, of course, there's oxygen and then there's and there's enough nutrients. Of course, your oxygen or your blood carries most of your nutrients. I think 80-90% of the nutrients that you're taking. Um, so, kung wala enough blood circulation, then nutrients will not be well allocated all throughout your body so you have to keep your your blood flowing and so increasing that adrenaline and um, increasing those endorphins when you exercise gives you happy hormones and and it gives you yeah good blood circulation in general and what else and of course the products that you use and focus up natin about different skin types and all the suitable or um, yeah, suitable products that you should use for your skin. I've already tackled about that and so you can check out the link up here or down below for more reference. And now, we're going to talk about different types of acne. So for sure, may levels and stages of acne. So may moderate to uh, severe acne. I think the most severe na na sa akin was yung ako, yung nasa picture. So one kind of acne is what we call the comedonal acne. So, ito type of acne na to is of course from the root word itself, comedones. Um, ito yung pag yung pores natin, and eh, naklog siya with oil and dead skin cells. So, oil plus dead skin cells, comedones. And there are types of comedones just to cite the basic ones. Merong whitehead, and of course the blackhead. So, yung whitehead, ito yung parang closed uh, comedone. Or, ito yung hindi pa bukas yung skin and na trap sa loob ng pore or na trap sa underneath the skin yung oil or yung namuong oil and uh, or sebum na kaya tawag. Namuong oil and uh, the dead skin cells. So, matigas na sila, di ba? And ito yung mga napapansin nyo sa face nyo na white bumps. Um, ito yung mga pag nakapan nyo, medyo matigas na siya at alam nyo may laman at may pinaghalaban. So, those are whiteheads. And of course, blackhead. Yung blackhead naman, it's not because it's it's dirty or anything kaya siya black. But it's because it's an open comedone. And since open yung pore niya, pag nag-oxidize yung, yung whitehead, um, nagiging black siya. Basic prevention of comedonal acne is, of course, you have to exfoliate your skin with salicylic acid, of course, and uh, meron din scrubs. It might help. Chemical exfoliators will also help. But for me, what I do is I just scrub my face with exfoliators. So, meron akong dalawang types of exfoliator na ginagamit ngayon. And I use this Clairs, um, Gentle Black Sugar Face Polish, just so to get rid of the dead skin cells. And I use this maybe once or twice a week. And I also have the Mendelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. This is a liquid exfoliator and it also helps by the kind of micro exfoliate. It's not really like harsh or not so hard on your face. It will sting, but um, eventually, it's sunny na man yung skin yo. But what it does is just it it removes dead skin cells as well without that like like the the hard scrubbing feeling. I use this facial cleanser as well. This is GDL's Finish Acne Clear Face Foam Cleanser with salicylic acid. And it says here it's suitable for acne prone skin and it does not induce skin irritation and it helps keep skin clean and it doesn't strip away like the natural um, oil so it doesn't dry out my face, which really, really helps. Now, all of the products that I will be mentioning and sharing, just check out the description box below. Anything about this video, just check it on the description box below from my shirt to nails. Alam ko mapapansin yan. <laughs> um, so just check it on the description box below. And yeah, specifically the products that I would mention. It's just so many reference and options to choose from. Or yeah, just reference if you're thinking of, of getting products. So now, second kind of acne. There's what we call the popular um, acne. Ito yung clog pores, oil, plus infection or bacteria. And that becomes the pimple. Prevention is, of course, take anti-acne products. There are some. So what I use is, for my anti-acne products, I use, of course, the Medecaderma. This is the mask, and I just use this to pamper kind of these well somehow. And what I also use is, I use this Acne Pimple COSRX uh, patches. Just so hindi na papasuko ng bacteria yung open pimple cause sometimes when I prick it. Yes, I do prick it. I know. Um, when I know that it's ready to be pricked, that's when I 
top it out and then I immediately clean the area and then I apply this and I just leave it on for for hours means on for the whole day or I change it uh, just so he needs to expose and para hindi siya pa sumunod bakit so that's really really important so Culture X everything's Korean and of course I use my Medicaderma not only for moisturizing my skin but also for my anti acne this helped me a lot I think I've been talking about this every time I talk about acne and, and every time I talk about my skin because you've always been asking me on what I did to my skin how it became this clear kung bakit siya glowing so Medicaderma there are also other products that you can see in drugstore, Mercury Drug, yun, mga Watsons. There is benzoyl peroxide. It is uh, ointment used to treat moderate acne, para ma unclog yung pores, and also to treat the bacteria to, to yeah, get rid of the bacteria. And also, there is antibiotic and uh, it's clindamycin, my oral, and my uh, in astringent form or in liquid form. Sorry. Um, I used to use clindamycin. But I think I used it wrong before. I think yung time ng yon, ng February 2014. And since antibiotics siya talagang nag dry siya ng skin, and I think I used, um, I think, uh, an amount that's not appropriate. So, sober nag dry and mas nag break out ako. There goes my audio recording. I just realized, I think, for the past 12 minutes na nagsasalita ako, ay hindi siya naka record. So, we have to deal with the. Uh, with a built-in microphone <laughs> sa camera. It's, it's really going to make a huge change, but I'm... <sighs> okay. Anti-stress, anti-stress. Going to the next kind of acne, there's cystic acne. So, ito yung, um, I think it's the worst and the most damaging type of acne. And uh, these are para large bombs that will appear and it will form into clusters. Pustules meaning papules, you need like smaller pimples like, like this kind. And then yung pustules naman yung may pus or yung may na-na-na-na, talagang yellowish and mas malalaki, mas malalaki siya. And yun, kapag nagkumpul-kumpul din at pag sobrang dami, talagang makikita yung sobrang red, inflamed, and uh, irritated yung skin, that's the cystic acne. And um, sa cystic acne, usually ay na mga genetics talaga eh. It's caused by talagang hyperactive sebaceous glands. Talagang produce-produce ng oil talaga. And it doesn't really mean na madumi yung skin or anything. It's just that it's because how your internal system works. So, don't you think na parang, oh my gosh, lagugas mo na ako ng mukha. Bakit, bakit meron ako ng cystic acne? Um, and then, ang tendency nun, lagi kang maghugas ng face. So, mas may irritate yung skin. So, so make sure that you don't overwash and overclean your your face. Especially if you have cystic or severe acne. Para hindi siya, of course, lumala. And uh, I, I suggest that you don't self-medicate on this one. Because you're really not sure on what what's the cause. So, um, really visit the dermatologist and have it checked, of course, and for you to be prescribed with the right treatment for your severe and cystic acne. Now that we're done tackling about acne, this video is not just all about myself. This is for you, and I really, really want to be of help, and for sure there are some of the viewers who want to be of help. So, those of you who have suffered from acne and uh, survive at the combat in acne, Share your experience down below, and who knows, may mga makabasa and makatulong din kayo. And doon sa mga nagsuffer pa din ng acne until now, let your stories be known sa comment section below para kung may nakakaalam or para pag may nakarelate, nakakatulong din, makakashare ng stories or best practices or like best medication or best products to use out there as well. Because I cannot really, you know, share just my experience and uh, I, I, I don't want to take, to take to, how do you say that, to take my word for it like in, in full because I probably have not experienced some things that, that, that you're experiencing right now. So, I don't want to be afraid or something. But I do want us to, to put in our thoughts and magsama sama yon all of your your thoughts and insights para makatulong tayo sa isa't isa. So, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and uh, feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter on at Ryan Sakantawi. Thank you guys for tuning in and for joining us. Again, I will be reading your comments below because I also want to hear and I also want to know your thoughts and the products that you use. So, feel free to comment down below. So, I hope to see you guys next time and um, to those who have been suffering acne and again been losing 
their confidence. Um, it's only a matter of time. If you really put your, your mind to it, if you're really religious and if you're really determined um, in, in fighting that acne, then uh, just commit to it. Kailangan talaga, again, commit and be consistent sa paglagay ng products, sa paginom ng tubig. And uh, of course, sa continuous research then and uh, pag try out on different products. So don't give up. You know, um, it's your skin. As long as you're living, you can always, always, always overcome these trials. So be happy and always be confident kahit ano mangyari. So I'll see you guys next time. Hope to see you all. Bye!